My name is David Lauren. I work at Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia. Uh, I specialize in pancreatic or biliary diseases there. Uh, so spend um, all of my time working on patients who have problems, the pancreas, the bile ducts, associated cancers and inflammatory conditions uh, therein. Um, and my research focuses on the same. The pancreagen test is a test that helps us diagnose patients who have pancreas cystic disease. So let's take a step back. Pancreas cysts are very, very common. And in fact, we know up to a quarter of people will have pancreas cysts. And so it's a problem in that it's incredibly common, but a quarter of people don't get pancreas cancer. We think these pancreas cysts, many of them are precursors to cancer. And so the challenge that we have is trying to figure out which cysts are one that are ones that are going to turn into cancer and which are cysts that are benign that we can either completely forget about um, or that we can follow without having to intervene. And there's a whole spectrum. And over the recent years, we have developed a series of different types of tests and clinical criteria to try to figure out who are these patients and who we can help. And what we really want to do is ultimately provide information to the individual patient to say, here is a test, this is what I think you have, based upon what you've told me, what your imaging looks like, based upon the testing that we have, the best available data, to help us figure out what recommendations to give a patient who has a cyst in the pancreas or more than one cyst in the pancreas. And there are lots of pieces of data that go into that decision. The data that we'll present here uh, are data that help us further evaluate uh, these pancreas cysts using molecular data. So further background is that there have been now two sets of international consensus guideline criteria most recently updated in 2012 that look at what the recommendation should be for people to follow them for pancreas cysts. And there are some subtleties there, but we'll just keep it a little bit more broad um, for patients who have pancreas cysts. And, uh, and those data we know are imperfect. And so very recently, the AGA, American Gastroenterological Association, came out with some new guidelines to help us think about it a little bit differently. And, and they take some different philosophical approaches. Um, but ultimately, the, the final goal here is to try to give the best recommendation to a patient and help patients make the best decisions that they can. Um, and the data that, we'll, that we'll, we'll be presenting uses a test called pancreagen, and pancreagen takes into account the molecular DNA information that's going on inside the cysts, and it looks at a host of testing, a panel of molecular tests, to try to help stratify people who can, should go on to have an intervention like surgery, or that we can be highly confident are developing cancer, as opposed to those who we should be following with surveillance examinations, meaning following them with imaging over time. First-line testing in this disease is a combination of uh, the imaging features of what the cysts look like, and usually we refer to the endoscopic ultrasound findings, um, particularly in the more recent criteria, it focuses on the endoscopic ultrasound findings. Um, it also incorp incorporates information from a surrogate fluid analysis of pancreas cysts. So traditionally, we'll sample the fluid inside the cyst using something called endoscopic ultrasound, where we take the ultra, an ultrasound machine, and it's actually performed on the inside of the patient using scopes, and we sample the cyst fluid. When we sample that fluid, we're able to assess it for a, a tumor marker called CEA, um, and uh, we also assess it for uh, amylase. These are, this is a, these are tumor markers. What the difference here is that we're actually looking at the DNA and the molecular changes that are happening in the development of cancer because we think a significant subset of pancreas cancers come from, or we know come from, these pancreas cysts. And so we're trying to find the, those molecular markers, and that's how it, it, it's a completely different scientific approach um, to the other types of what we call, quote, first-line testing.